1947 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. From a mintage of 22,556,000 pieces, even upper end gem mint state examples are relatively common, but precious few survivors reach the finest echelons of the PCGS population report, as here. Light gold and pale blue iridescence accents otherwise untoned surfaces, bolder color is found only in isolated areas of the extreme peripheries and on the edge. It is difficult to imagine any example being finer than the present coin, making this an ideal find for the collector. It was sold for $7,800. 1945 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. A breathtakingly beautiful ultra gem that really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Both sides are intensely lustrous with a satiny finish that is as bright, smooth and fresh as the day of striking. It was sold for $9,600. Here is 1922 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. A strong mint red color blooms boldly across both the obverse and reverse of this popular date. Among the highest graded examples of this scarcer date, the Denver Mint was the only facility to strike cents in 1922. This one is very well struck and in an immaculate state of preservation. As fresh today as the day it came off the dies over a century ago, this CAC approved MS 66 RD is about as fine an example as you are reasonably able to acquire. Very rare any finer. It was sold for $13,200. 1879 CC Morgan Silver Dollar. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. Above average quality and strong eye appeal are noted on this example of an eagerly sought CC Mint Morgan Dollar issue. Brilliant with intense mint luster, both sides also feature impressively sharp striking detail that even extends to the central high points. It was sold for $9,600. 1983 Lincoln Cent struck on a copper planchet. This wrong planchet error is similar in nature to the 1943 copper cents, and occurred in precisely the same manner. The 1983 copper planchet cents are destined to remain quite rare as the change from the old tenor copper planchets to the new 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper planchets occurred in August of 1982, at least four months before 1983 cents were struck. This MS-64 red and brown specimen fetched a sum of $9,000. 1954 S. Jefferson Nickel graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. An exciting and significant offering for advanced Jefferson Nickel enthusiasts, this top pop full step superb gem is making only its second recorded auction appearance. It is a lovely example, the surface is lustrous with a dusting of champagne apricot and pale silver iridescence to a softly frosted finish. Smartly impressed, the detail is expectably full given the FS designation from PCGS and includes complete step definition below the pillars of Monticello. Otherwise virtually pristine, a trivial mark in the upper right reverse field is mentioned solely as a useful identifier. It was sold for $9,000. Vividly toned 1944 Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. A spectacular example of this late date Walking Liberty Half Dollar in every sense. From a technical standpoint, this coin is truly superb, with essentially flawless surfaces that radiate mint brilliance. It ended up selling for $8,400. Next. 1950s over D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. A spectacular example of this ever popular over mint mark variety, and it is tied for the finest certified by PCGS. Bold mint luster swirls over satin smooth surfaces. Brilliant untoned silver is accented by a halo of golden brown patina on the obverse and lemon yellow, tangerine, and hints of iridescence on the reverse. A fantastic strike ties the entire package together, with the SD mint mark very well defined. It was sold for $7,800. 1954 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Soft satin luster blends with original deep rose red mint color on both sides of this gorgeous example. A surprise condition rarity among 1950s Lincoln Cents, the late David W. Lang writes of the 1954, 1954p, sick. Scents are notable for their generally poor quality. Most are dark and were coined from severely overused dyes. None had been certified MS 67 RD by either PCGS or NGC at the time the author penned his complete guide to Lincoln Scents in 1996. The situation today is different, of course, but minimally so, as even though a number of grading events in MS 67 RD are reported, this issue remains a formidable condition with the strike, luster quality, and surface preservation shown here. Sold for $6,600. Here is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR 68 condition. PR standing for proof. 
lightly and evenly toned in golden-gray iridescence, under direct lighting the surfaces reveal vivid multicolored undertones of reds, golds and blues. Universally reflective in finish, both sides exhibit full striking detail and pristine looking features. It was bargained for $7,200. 1920 D Buffalo Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. Simply put, this is a beautiful coin. Indirect viewing angles show even light silver-gray surfaces, but when the coin dips into a light the viewer is treated to dazzling champagne gold, powder blue and pinkish apricot toning in a target-like distribution. Smooth and frosty with a dynamic strike for an issue that is often noticeably blunt in the centers. It was sold for $38,400. This is 1926 DP silver dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. A captivating superb gem with pristine looking surfaces that are quite unlike those normally seen for this issue. Silky smooth in appearance and fully untoned, one's eye is allowed to focus on full striking detail and billowy mint luster. A delight to behold, and just right for inclusion in an advanced piece dollar collection on the PCGS set registry. It was sold for $28,800. 1923 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. With bold full detail throughout the design. This is a very well-struck 1923s Lincoln scent. Full tan orange mint color is also noteworthy, and it confirms the conditionally rare nature of this impressive gem. As with many earlier issues from the 1920s, the 1923s is one of the more notable condition rarities in the entire Lincoln series. Only 8,700,000 scents were struck at San Francisco that year, but thanks in part to hoarding in later years, the 1923S is generally available in the lowest circulated grade levels, but it becomes progressively scarcer up through the about uncirculated levels. In mint state preservation, this is an especially challenging issue even at the lower end of that scale. It was sold for $22,800. And here is 1955 Lincoln sent with double dye obverse. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. The surfaces of this exquisite gem glow with full, vivid, pinkish apricot mint color. Boldly struck with intense satin to softly frosted luster and incredible eye appeal. One of the finest certified survivors, this piece ranks among the highest grading events listed in the PCGS population report. Prominent doubling is evident on all obverse letterings with naked eye. It was sold for $45,600 on March 26, 2024 at Stax Bowers Auction. And that's a wrap, folks. Before you leap to your next video adventure, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay safe out there. God's willing, see you in the next episode.